They don't pay me enough for this. So it's the same new term. Oh, there's this, sorry. Dr. Graham? Sorry. There's been a break in at his high school. Tank 3, I'd say. The secretary must have disturbed it. Well, she didn't say. She's dead. Well, we're compromised. We're compromised to hell. They know where he lives. Okay, gotta go. Showtime. Welcome to the Dark Ages. Wake you? Can't get the damned ice machine to work. Sorry, I'm Galvin. Rupert Galvin. Can't get you anything? There is no word in the English language to describe the correct state of the perfect omelet. It's all to do with internal temperature. Neither raw nor cooked. Like you see. The French Thanks. have a word for it. Bavoos. Don't you love it? Do they have a word for someone who stays away for years and years and doesn't even write? Idiot. It's the same in English. What can I say? I'm sorry, Jenny. Well, doesn't matter. You're here now, and it's a wonderful surprise. How long are you in town? Oh, a while. You know, I haven't slept for 36 hours. Well, where are you staying? You could stay here. Rupert could stay here, please. No, it's fine. I have a reservation at uh, Compton's Hotel. You heard of it? Uh, yes, yes, I have. It's down by Southwark Bridge. Okay, I need some sleepy. I would drive you over there, but uh, school's in the opposite direction, I'm afraid. Sorry. Well, maybe Luke could take me. Yes, why not? Good idea. Go to the corner, grab a cab. Well, let him finish his breakfast. Well, he never eats breakfast. Mum. I've got stuff to do. Who is this guy, anyway? Mum. Is there something you want to tell me? 
He's your boyfriend. Rupert is not my boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. Who is he then? He's your godfather. You kidding? You knew I knew your father. Did Mum tell you? Yeah, we were good friends. Yes, indeed. It was a bad time when we lost him. Very bad time. Did you ever see things, Luke? Did you ever see things? What kind of things? Well, I don't know. In the corner of your eye. But when you look, they're not there. Help out you and me tonight. Boys night out, what do you say? I can't. Sorry. I've got to be somewhere. Cancel. You should understand. I assume it's a she. It's not like that. It's a party. But you're not planning on going home alone, right? I like it. Tonight, my friend, the ladies can wait. Your godfather has spoken. 7.30, Royal Festival Hall. Meet me. Good. Oh, and, uh, Luke. Don't open it till you get home. And if you do see anything, we'll take care. Remember, they bite. Hiya. Ruby, can you talk? Yeah. You know I'm just party? Yeah, the one we're going to tonight? Yeah, we've got a problem. Oh. Okay. What happened? This guy turned up. He's a friend of my dad's. Apparently, he's my godfather. He wants a boys' night out. He's joking. Listen, I've got your art folder. Do you need it? Uh, bring it into college with you. I'm not coming in. I'm going to work here while I've got the place to myself. Well, I could come to yours and get it. OK, cool. See ya. I thought we had rats, but it was big, more like a monkey. You've got monkeys. Wow. Well, there goes the neighborhood. It ate our mop. Mm. You should call the council. They have men in vans to deal with this kind of thing. Forget it. Listen, I'm sorry about tonight. It's OK. No, it's not. It's Amber's birthday. I said I'd go. She will be off her face by half ten. I can tell you with that. She'll never know. 